Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Hi. I see they're letting even istic mercenaries in these days. Hey. Leave me alone. The watch must remain undisturbed. Sure. Okay. Are you guarding the way in or are you guarding the way out? We saw it from the upside, upside, upstairs. I think. Okay. No, but you cannot descend here. I don't know. Hmm? Wrong way. Let's see. And what do we have here? The other part of. On the other part of the place, I guess. Forgive me. We have not been visited by Oh, we are here. It is an honor. I would be more concerned than excited. Okay, I'm just trying to understand the layout of this place. I cannot touch a thing. Ooh. A true account of how best to protect your mind from illicit manipulation and subsequent domination. When dealing with mind flayers, remember that it is in their nature to assess the utility, strength, and weaknesses of those around them to manipulate in order to get what they want. The best countermeasure you can take against a mind flare is simply to avoid it. Any attempts to outsmart it will fail. If that is not an option, then there are three things to remember that may just save your mind. 1. Pay attention to its actions, not its words. Where mind flares are concerned, it is true that actions speak, lou speak louder than words, especially words that are traitor spoken to fit a mind flare's manipulative agenda. Strengthen your relationship with others. The greatest thing you can do to offset our mind flares designs upon you is to have allies, strong allies. Trust in those you know you can trust and build your relationships with them. They are the ones who will have your back when you most need it. My, even mind flares have wants and desires. The only circumstances in which a relationship with a mind flare may be beneficial to you is if you both want exactly the same thing. In the unlikely case that this is true, bear in mind that once you have outlived your purpose to a mind player, it will have no use for you. Mm, I mean, the one, the one we spoke with in the uh, in the Underdark. I mean, he was different. Okay, don't get me wrong. He wasn't our usual mind player. Far from it. An estic allowed to soil our halls. Chick. I can do that too. Please, Chick Rai, I can explain. The latest patrol have not returned. I'm sorry, I. Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. Is that teleportation? Oh. Don't worry about me. I don't want to, to, to talk to you, I want to speak with you. An istic in my crash. You are 
you're one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. I have no intention to. Um... I was granted entry by the sentries. They told me to seek the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor? On what grounds? I have proof of the Illithid invasion. It might help your Inquisitor to rethink his priorities. We have all the proof we need, and it has not moved his resolve. We know infected flock to Moonrise Towers. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an Inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. Meanwhile, illithid sickness spreads right in front of us. What is so important about this weapon? I do not know. This hunt is the Inquisitor's folly, not mine. What does this weapon look like? It is small. Angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script, stolen by true soul heretics. You realize she seeks the artifact you carry. What was that look? You know something. Do you have it? I don't know anything about it. And stop wasting my time, Istic. Oh, hello, little ones. You are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? Um, what's the reward again? A fortune in gold, vouched for by our queen herself. I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. Hi. I hope you don't mind. Would you kindly speak to me? Or not? Oh! They won't speak to us. That's interesting. What about you? I'm not here. Speak to the captain. Let's see how well she handles this. But wait. Okay, we can still go the other way. For some reason, I thought this was the only way we could go. But. Oh, right. We can go here. Okay, okay, okay. Here and up and left. And I. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. oh. If we are supposed to go here? No. Here. This way. Now I see. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Blacketh herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Hmm. Inspected. As hard as you rack your brain, the symbol doesn't look like anything you've seen before. Study the features. This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. The way her stark white skin stretches over her sharp features gives her a distinctly otherworldly aspect. Hmm. Draw on your face! I'm gonna fail it! Yep. They're gonna kill me. Just as you find your flow, you slip.
Perhaps you should leave before someone notices. Yep. Is something here? Is this? What's that? I need to get rid of it before the Inquisitor sees. You did this. Hey. The is going to gut us one by one, and it's all your fault. How do you know it was me? I just wanted to ask you something. Not now, Kachucky. We're busy. I prefer thieving kids, really. What's in the chest? It's making an awful noise. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Whatever it is, I think you should stop. It's clearly not having a good time. Mm, no. Hmm. Yes, stop it. Let it out. Nah, we're having fun. Look here, little shits. I said stop. If you're going to be a big baby about it. A big ugly baby. Open it up then. It's all yours. If I'm seen speaking with an istic, Captain Therizin will never let me join the patrol. Okay. Uh, would you mind opening that? Should be easy. What? Grimishka, of course. Hello? Oh. You little shits. Might be useful. Moving ahead. A roster of duties written in the common tongue, including cleaning, handling, pest control, surveillance, blah blah blah. The first ten protocols. The young must abide them, or bear the savage's barbed whip. This crash's bunks look entirely too soft for my liking. That they let outsiders into the crash sets a bad precedent. Okay. Whatever you say. Let's see. Hello. What's up for discussion? Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? I am a child of gift, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. Hmm. I would prefer Lazel to speak on my behalf. Lazel, is it? Fine. And be quick. My work is of vital import. We carry gay tadpoles and have done so for countless days. Yet we show no symptoms. We must enter the Zaysk. You are infected, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Fascinating. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Zaysk. I will ensure you are cured. And the Zephisk is the apparatus at the top of those stairs. Quickly now. Time is of the essence. Even Githyanki rarely experiences Zephisk. 
You are very lucky, Isdick. The device is strange, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The Sathisk. Vlakith's purity distilled. My duty. My right. Uh, give me a moment. It, it won't bear any results, but... The device is part organic, part synthetic. But you can't tell how it was made. Or how it works. Stand aside! My time has come. Go ahead, you've earned it. Praise Blacketh. Let it be done. Sit, child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. Yes, child. Speak the Tanakit. Meditate on its verses. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? Get out of there. You won't survive it. I don't trust it. And I trust my gut. Wait, how much I need? Not enough. No! Fuck it! Purge me of this blight! You share in Lazel's agony. Every cell within her skull bursts into a constellation of fragments, sorted and reassembled. Lazel will die if she remains. Yes, child. Jamar Zala Blackith called to your queen. <gasps> My queen, hear me! Your vision narrows. You sense myriad specters that give Yankee past. This is their fate. This is their anguish. Seek answers. No way in hell. The pain is too great. The visions flicker and refuse to come into focus. Listen. The device is changing you. You are becoming illicit. She will die. I am becoming pure. Lashika. 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 Yes, child. Face her will. Your marrow quakes within your bones. Behind the pain, a new sensation rises. Power. Remove her. Come on, try. This is a joke. <laughs> Damn it all! The parasite 
it. I still feel it. I am Githyanki. I will not be Geich. My life's work, gone. And yet she lives. And so does her parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Your Zeith tried to kill Lazel and failed. The Zaithisk does not fail. The only variable in this experience was you and your parasite. And I will uncover how this happened. Wait here. I will gather my tools. No! I followed the protocol! I must be cleansed! I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zaithisk might have killed me. The gust still tampered with it. Traitor! And there may be more still. This must be why the Inquisitors come. Uh, <laughs> Our traitor is so common among the Kifianki. Lakith has taught us of a Sharlak. Traitors hunted, slaughtered, and erased from our histories. Few would dare dishonor their queen. Fewer still would be so brazen. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Doctor's sedition. Okay. Wait, she locked us in. Come on, open. Okay, we'll fight. Yes, I know. I mean, there is a chance. There was a chance. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I still have only one weapon, right? Yep, and I forgot to give him another one. Oh, you little. Victory awaits. You second wind. On the move. Almost maximum health. you down the hatch please give him oh well heal yourself then I'm not prone I'm dying Please hit him. Thank you. You bow. Uh. 
Nice. Okay, oh crap. Under their noses. They want to live. Not really. Smokers, wait. Yeah, we did that, but for some reason he did not get his buff. Weird. Oh. You. Do you have any potions? Sure. Please hit her. Thank you. No time to waste. Ready for this. Wait, why? Why was that even a valid target? I mean, there was no target. Okay, you want to and move. Like hell, I have no idea where we should go. Hmm. I'm sorry, Papa. There? Yep. Okay, so apparently we are supposed to get, go to the Inquisitor, not the Captain. Which means I get to explore now. Let's go here. Come on. Let's see what this does. Time to empty. I'd expect to see 15 eggs at the very least. Oh, okay, allow me to save here because there's a ton of checks we are failing. Is Stick are permitted to view the birthing pools now? Apparently. These are strange times. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. I thought a hatchery would have more eggs. Most are hatched. Only one remains. Monitored by Vash Kok, the caretaker of our young. You may speak to the Vash if you wish, but stay away from the egg. There will be no second warning. Okay, so allow me to speak to that. Ash. Be wary. This place is trapped. Uh, somehow I'm, I'm not even shocked. I'm surprised that this is trapped. Don't! Good job, Kralak. Good job. Why is the star not coming? I mean, he's literally the only smart one that did not step into a trap. Okay, let's rest here. Now, forward. You can tell Kithrak Therazin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Oh. Hi. Not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? Um, I've heard you waiting for... Wait, you mistook me for someone. Who were you expecting? Someone with orders from our commander to destroy this egg. Almost all of the eggs in his clutch have hatched. We await only one more, which is... 
taking its time. Failure at the first hurdle of existence. Most caretakers would crush it and be done. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance. But I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. Now leave. I don't have time to parent you as well. What do you want now? Uh, you're being very protective of this egg. Why? It's taking a little longer than expected to hatch. The conditions must not be disturbed if it is to have a fighting chance. Failure at the first hurdle of experience. Yeah. Caretakers would not give the child it. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Why do you care so much about one dead egg? Not all that arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool, if it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. Let me help. I can take it somewhere safe. You? What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here. Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? I will raise it as if it were my own flesh and blood. That's what I feared. Still, I'm sure its nature will pervade, even if raised among lesser species. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Thank you. Uh, and so I will go alone. Apparently. I have no idea. Be cautious. Large green egg with an uneven shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it. Reach out and touch the egg. The egg is warm to the touch. The rough shell like slate beneath your fingers. Whatever is within is stirring ever so slightly. Pick it up. Oh. Actually, guys, I think we can go out that way. Okay. All right, but give me my shoes. I prefer my sister. Okay, and I'm gonna save again. Oh, don't close the door. Please don't close the door. Thank you. Now we're off to here. Yes, yeah. Keep hesitating. My instructions were clear. Because... Because they don't make sense. Killing each other like this. It's stupid. 
Orpheus! Silence! It seems your childish prattling is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? Killing your own soldiers is an odd strategy for winning a war. Cowards are not tolerated in our ranks, though I gather they are welcome in yours. Leave the boy alone. You made your point. I suppose your inane spewings have distracted enough from my lesson. <clears throat> Go wet the swords. I want them sharp enough to peel a gake's eyeball just by looking at them. I hope you prove as weak as this should we meet on the battlefield, Istik. <sighs> okay. You are well on your way to being gate food. Do better. Oh, there's someone here. Unless you want to be set up as target practice, I suggest you leave, Istic. <laughs> okay, so she's the only place left. Wait, so if I want to meet the Inquisitor, I need to go through the captain's quarters. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Likely before they'd had the chance to say anything useful. You're going, you guys going, you're going. I'll give it a shot. No, you don't. But I'm gonna save here. Can we go through? Can get there. What is that? Ooh, giving your orders. Be aware, cultists must be captured on site. Interrogations, swift and effective. Search for the artifact. Thorough. Priority one. Ain't the thingy. How can we get a thingy? Path is interrupted. Hmm. You really want to speak with her? Okay. I presume you are not stupid enough to return empty handed. So, give me the weapon now. <sighs> Shema is a love lucky. Ah. Give it to me. No. No. Then I will take it from your corpse. Is she also hostile? Yep, she is also hostile. Make it hurt. <laughs> Don't make it hurt. Fuck yes. I'm always in awe for her. I mean, she's always. You cannot say that Karlak's spirit is low. She's just great. No, oh, no, I dropped my weapon. Can you help anyone really? This okay. Please hit him. I 
I said please. Thank you. Of course you won't be able to hit her. Not happy. Why are you not happy? Let's go. Ooh, that hurts. Congratulations. Oh, I dropped my... Uh, I dropped my crossbow, not my main weapon. Great. That's a little bit better. I swear I'm gonna hit you. Thank you. Disarmed, okay. I'm fading fast. I must heal. Can you shoot her if we get a little bit closer? Thank you. Uh. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say that I'm going to die. <sighs> Don't you have my sister? No, you, we used that already. Okay, uh, no matter. Come on. Nice. And while I... While I am Karlak... You should be able to shoot. Disarmed, you are still here. Yeah, you still have your. I have no idea why would I. Oh, that was weird. Why would the, being disarmed affect shooting? Please. Thank you. Can I get over here? I mean, you. She did hit him. Well, it, that doesn't count. I'm dead. Great. 
I love that they are temporary hostile. They are hostile as long as they are alive. And you, sir, are not <laughs> getting up here. Another one? Next time, close the door. Wait, 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 wait. Nice. She doesn't have a weapon, she cannot use a trade. her inside yes I can great close the door oh you're not running away really close the door Please pick up your stuff. Clark, I saw your axe somewhere there. Unfortunately, they're not gonna equip them right away. Both my weapons were... Where is it? No. I had a dagger once. Where is it? <laughs> Where is my dagger? Oh, there it is. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. At the ready. My baneful. So a backpack here. Come on. Empty What's and the spout. Empty, okay. Hmm. Another short sword. Yeah, sure. Why not? This is better. You already have one. You? Soldier. You have. You. Oh no, it's not better. <sighs> sort of screams, and this is rapier. No right. one here uses one rapiers. Out. One day I'll catch a break. 
Oh, I have too much stuff. There isn't. It would behoove you to remember that should you or any other member of Crash elect flower the new rules, this will be considered an act of treason. Do not think that I am blind to your disdain. I am our queen's eyes and I see all. The Inquisition will proceed as planned until it is complete and the weapon is found. As decreed by the queen to me, Inquisitor Vugas. Vugas. Now this I like. Is it better than one you have? Probably, yeah. Have a lot on my mind. Oh, well, in it. Okay, you should have one, two. Great. Allow me to save. Let's Still alive. go. So that's progress. This thingy. But I mean you cannot use it. Just put it here. Oh it is you. Make haste. We have business to conduct. Don't waste a step. What? But why? This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. You... They want me to go over there, so I definitely want to go over here first. There's a trusty here. I'm more worried about this... this inquisitor. Do you really think he'll help us? Nope, there is no way. Before. I don't know why it would be now. I think we'll, <laughs> we'll do a short rest right before the doors. All right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. I don't trust them. There's they didn't do anything to earn our trust. Our esteemed guest, please approach. We have much to discuss. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing Gaik slave vessel. Chirai. Vlaketh's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Gaik ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. You are an idiot. This weapon, what does it do? What business is that of yours? Suffice to say, my queen wants it. But know that you will have been instrumental in stopping the grand design. Hand it over. What is the grand design? The grand design is what all Gaik seek. The restoration of the Illithid Empire, which spanned the entirety of the multiverse. For centuries there, elder brains sought to bring back their dominion. Every plot they hatched, we stopped. But now they are close to succeeding. Never before could they pause Ceremorphosis. Never before could they let the infection spread undetected. You saw the thralls gathered on the Gaik ship. Imagine that everywhere. Wants, needs, choice. All would cease to be. Everything rendered unto the Gaik. So... The weapon. Please. Don't give it to him. I won't let you take it. Do not try me. 
Hand over the artifact or die by my hand. Remember, remember the Zaisk? This, this gift can't be trusted. Follow my lead, I'll choose the right path. The Zaisk. I hate that you speak the truth. Choose. Your path is mine to follow. We are keeping the artifact. Our fate is forged. Mother Gith, guide us. Your illustrious adventure ends here. Hetaseth! <sighs> Fresh Yilik! With me! Kill her. To the death! Bye forever, pal. I mean, I don't want to be the one fighting with him. She's even a bigger now. But they need to be dealt with. She's amazing. I see the all cannot hit for them. Um. Because you will be running away. Can you not jump? Nope. God damn it. Other call bonus. What did I do? What did I do? This adventure on intelligence and wisdom check. Mind link? Mind still link. Link. Wait, what did he do? Sounds so creepy. Oh, there are blood. Oh, his blood is and he's happy. This is my happy place. Armor class, okay. God damn it. You're not running away. Oh no, I don't want to do that. That's for sure, I don't want Crown of Madness. Why not?
And you, I want, I want you to run this way. Can you someone else? Okay, give it to her. And a menacing strike, hopefully it will work. That's not very Gifyanki like. Wait. Fine. Sure. This is gonna feel good. Should have done that with Astarion also. Ten percent chance to hit him. Is it even possible for me to hit him? Okay. I still have no idea how that mine still link works. <laughs> Wait, condition ends when the affected entity damages. Oh, oh, when you hit him. You rather kill them all. Heading out. The this is what she's the she's the best at, honestly. High defense. And she missed. Show that you can. Hey. Inquisitor Wargas was potent. We are impressed. What? My queen. Skarthai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to me. The deathless queen has spoken. You will obey. Who exactly are you? Who am I? Uh -huh. I am Vlachis, undying queen of 
the noble Githyanki, God Regent of the Six Arms of Turnara! Your choice of allies is most vexing. They do not become you, Lazel. Chma Zalavlaketh. You know me. Erlon of Kalia speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istic, you bear that which is ours. But are you friend, or are you thief? Neither. It is mine, by rights. No, Find us keepers. It is not yours. To own something is to note that weapon you carry. The astral prison. It is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warm. Broken. A blight! They are an agent of the Grand Design, sent to sabotage the Astral Prism. Our last defense against the return of the Enlithid Empire! As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this. And I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this and ascend! Ascension? My queen. An honor gained. A burden borne. Choose. But know this. The cost of refusal is great. Not merely great, Lazel. Eternal. Can't you kill them yourself? I thought the gods were all powerful. Perhaps I misheard. You would not speak ill of a god, would you? Do not test her. She will be our ruin. Actually. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna end this part here because this dress is too great to do it right now. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.